Peace. There's nothing to worry about. The most powerful exorcists among us are working on it right now. And they'll make sure that we touch down on the ground safely. Exorcists? Like the ones with amazing powers who heal people during the epidemic? That's right. So please, have faith in us. Just drawing the connections. This is uh, the show Magicians. And as I brought up the Magicians, I was talking more so about the fairy and elf energy. But again, man, the Magicians kind of go through the full cipher. You could say the full cipher, but in essence, like touching on a bunch of different subjects. You know, if you want to talk about the Inky and Lil story, you know, fairies. If you want to talk about the nuances of astral projection, dreams, you know, uh, battle magic, regular magic, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it taps into all the different, you know, uh, you know, all these different aspects. But of course, you got to do your own due diligence and research on your own. Because again, sometimes shows and movies do have like little twisted perspectives. But I, for the most part, you know, I share some of these because I be guided to them and it be in relation to the fact that they have, uh, you know, very little tampering with them. Like, yeah, they might change the names and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's like not toxically trying to program you to, you know, uh, you know, do certain things or be against certain things. You know what I'm saying? And if it did have some type of subtleties, it would be obvious. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, in connection with the dog energy. Anubis in the Netherlands, basically he in the netherworld. He used that button to travel. He come out of, in this water fountain, or this water, you know what I'm saying? Cause the portals are like water, you know, that Stargate, you know, all these different things that talk about, you know, or show you know how water are going through water you know because water is also like the like a, a mirror you know the mirror world and alice in wonderland you know the story of uh narcissus you know what i'm saying staring at his reflection in the water all right i come in peace a hooded figure in the Netherlands, and I just talked about hoods. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So you were on here before? First time. From? Not here. You? <laughs> nice try, psychic. Gonna need to get to know a girl a little better before she lets you go running around up there. Yeah, I wasn't. You were, but it's okay. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Eve. Penny. Hmm. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. Born and raised. I'm actually kind of the welcome committee. I keep track of the fountains. I felt you come through. Please tell me that I can help you get where you need to go. Okay, where, where are we exactly? Like, uh... The Niverlands. And that is... The Niverlands are sort of the place between all of the places. That's how you get from A in, to B. In between worlds, again, the hooded Which figure. Which fountain did you come out of? Over there, Earth. You know, we uh, we don't get too many of you guys, but when you come, you always have the most interesting magic. So, tell me, what brought you here? Hmm? I've pretty much seen it all. Enchanted capes, rings. This one guy, uh, he rode a sled pulled by flying, what do you call them? Not zebra. Reindeer. Santa Claus? Yeah. You know him? He's a really nice guy, right? Yeah. No. What? I... No, I, I didn't have anything like that. Just a, a button. That's new. Can I see it? <laughs> see, you got like a little traveling instant transmission, astral projection. Uh, 
uh, damn it. Piles, like Anubis over that fountain. <laughs> You know what I'm saying again, just the hit, hint, wink, winks, and then he getting to see like in the Netherlands, there's nothing but fountains, or nothing but portals, you know, leading in between worlds. Creating his uh, boundaries so he could tap into his meditation. You know what I'm saying? All what we talk about. <laughs> so shade in the show the magicians is in essence connected to you know your shadow aspect you know your shadow aspect inner child you know what i'm saying and in essence the fragmented part of your soul that because it's fragmented it prevents you from being whole and just again showing the connections and showing how some of these shows kind of straightforwardly tells the truth you know what i'm saying again i'd be guided to shows that don't really have a lot of propaganda in it you know what i'm saying up to your shade she's not gone so where is she the shades go to the underworld so your shade go to the underworld your your fragmented part of yourself is in the underworld aka the deep parts of your subconscious you know what i'm saying those parts of your subconscious in essence that you may be fearful of hence why that part is fragmented because you're you've been afraid to go back into that space in order to retrieve that part of yourself you know what i'm saying basically you know straight up how it's be you know how i'm saying it <laughs> so you're having to retrieve you know what i'm saying this fragmented part of yourself again like your inner child or inner adolescence or 20 year old or 30 year old self depending on you know how long you've been in this plane of existence you know what i'm saying the physical body but the living can access the underworld with the help of a gatekeeper the living could access the underworld with the help of a gatekeeper. An ancient one. An ancient one. one. And they figured out what an ancient one is. A dragon. Now, speaking of, again, the underworld. You know, I drew the connections to trees and dragons. I just did a little video from... The ancient Magus's bride, you know, and showing how the little rock dragon was turning into a tree as he transitioned. And trees are also considered portals, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, it could be a connection to portals to the spirit realm in essence. Uh, a portal to the quote unquote Devic kingdom. Or should I say, you know, the nature kingdom, the fairy kingdom, but more so, let's just say the devic kingdom, basically connecting you with the elementals of nature and going beyond the veil of, you know, uh, or going beyond the veil to tap in with the spirit realm in connection with nature. Because you have the spirit realm, in essence, that exists just within nature. And then you have other dimensions of the spirit realm as well that may not be necessarily connected to earth in essence you know what i'm saying because you could connect with the spirit realm from a you know multi-dimensional aspect you know with connecting with the spirit realm with beings who never really incarnated physically on earth in essence but also again connecting the dragon being a guardian or gatekeeper of the underworld and then connecting the dragon to being, you know, uh, to being connected with trees. And again, the tree has that knowledge and wisdom because its whole existence, you know, is a balance of being tapped into the underworld or your roots. And growing from that connection to the underworld because, you know, a tree stands tall because of how deep it is. 
how deep its roots is and how deep the roots go into, you know, the earth, in essence, into the unseen part. You know what I'm saying? Because you could see a tree over ground, but you don't necessarily see its roots from the perspective of standing on the ground with your two eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, you would have to tap into the spirit realm in order to, you know, see those roots in essence. But this also connects to the tree. Or should I say, I mean, the, the seed that grows into the tree or grows into any plant for that essence. But more so specifically with the tree where a seed is in darkness for, you know, a long time and it grows through that darkness. You know, it has to trust and grow from out of that darkness into a tree. You know what I'm saying? So it grows through its connection to its uh, to the underworld. And it grows roots and then it sprouts up. And this is all, you know, again, connected to the dragons. I have videos on the connect connecting the dots playlist. If you watch all of those videos or watch just the ones connected to dragons, you'll get all the other information and references. You know what I'm saying? From other videos I made to also books that could help you. So this is all I need to say, but just showing again how this show Magicians connects with that energy. This part, got the clock in the background with the dog sitting by the fire. Congratulations, <laughs> you're dead. You've passed through the veil to the underworld. Is this your final destination? No. It's the first leg of your journey. We designed this part of the underworld for you, based on your life and personal expectations to facilitate a comfortable. Based on your life and personal expectations. I told y'all when I had that DMT trip where it felt like I transitioned. Well, literally, it was basically like my own subconscious or my own mind you know, in essence, creating my experience or like me talking to myself. So basically my personal, again, your personal subconscious perspective, you know, is what creates, you know, or has a lot to do with your transitioning process. Well, transition. You've been grouped with others who have similar expectations. You've been grouped with others who have similar expectations of your personal expectations of how it is to transition. Perfect, right? This is your time to process and settle into this next stage of your existence. In the unlikely shade event missing. you're missing your shade, please report to a bellhop immediately. Enjoy your way. Her shade is missing in the area which is her solar plexus. I guess I need to 